first, a few words about our moderator. Pamela Lewis is Vice President of Youth Programs of the All Stars Project. She joined the All Stars staff in 1992 and was on the front lines of developing the All Stars flagship programs, the All Stars Talent Show Network, and the Development School for Youth. Now, Pam directs youth programming for the All Stars Project across the U.S., and she recently created and led All Stars All Over the World, an international training for youth development practitioners from Canada, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Peru, Brazil, India, and Bangladesh. She is loved and respected by young people and the people who work with them all over the world. Please welcome Pam Lewis. Thanks. Thank you, Bonnie, and thank you to your team. Uh, this has just been great. Our speakers, all of them, have been just, just great. So let's get right to it. Let's welcome to the stage our panel of young people who will be doing a performance of a youth panel. <laughs> David Collum, Lisa Davidson, Shayla Esquivel, Joseph Moore, and Samaya Mubarak. Let's give them a round of applause. David is 19 years old and a graduate of Finger High School and currently attends Columbia College. He lives in Roseland. Lisa is 23 years old and will be attending Truman College in January. She lives in Austin. Shayla Esquivel is 13 years old and attends Albany Park Multicultural Academy. She lives in Albany Park. Joseph Moore, 20 years old and a graduate of Manly Career Academy. He lives in North Lawndale and Samaya Mubarak, 16 years old and attends Lynn Bloom High School. She lives in Chatham. So as you all know, our kids are going up against a lot. And uh, this is a great opportunity to have the chance to hear from our young people and have them speak to many is issues, but specifically the role that after school plays in their lives. So my first question is for Joseph and Lisa. Are you happy? No, not really. Uh, I see this, every day I wake up, I see the same block, the same drug dealers, and I'm, I'm tired of living it, I'm tired of it. And like, my, even my, my close friend from grammar school has become a drug dealer. And it's like he doesn't even notice me anymore. And like, this, it's, it's upsetting to me. It really is. I'm tired of it. How you doing? My name's Lisa. Uh, I would like to say, first off, uh, yes, I mean, I am not happy. Because I come from a poor community where people are stuck in a mindset where nothing is going to change. They are economically deprived, and it's like poverty has become a norm to the point where they see it every day, and it's okay, and it's acceptable. And I want to spark the hope back in them because that is something I'm not pleased about. This question also is for Joseph and Lisa. Could you speak to what you think about the violence that's going on in Chicago right now? It's sad. It's really sad. Um, I mean, like, from grammar school to finishing high school, I've seen some of my friends die. And it's just like every day it's, it's violence, shootings. And it's, it's, it's really sad, and it really needs to stop. It really does. And that's someone needs to come up. No, people need to stop talking and start doing stuff. Um, violence um, <clears throat> is actually a, uh, a topic that I feel really passionate and deep about. I'm 23 years old. When I was five years old, I can remember it being gang violence, robberies. I can remember that. I can remember being 15 year old, same problem. I'm 23, same problem. We all know the problem. We all know the issues. And I think due to it being election season, 
everybody wants to put it on the media, publicize it, like, oh, it's violence. Oh, it's been violence. We know the issue, we know the problem, but nobody wants to get to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is poverty. It does it has something to do with the mind state. I always say that nobody comes out their mother's womb a gang, a gang banger. Nobody comes out their mother's womb a drug dealer. So what is it about them that this child grew up to end up being this person? And that's the question that we really have to get to and answers we really have to dig at. So Lisa, um, people I know they want to applaud. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa, what did you say the root of the problem was? The root of the problem is a mind state. We got Wait, to I thought you said poverty, right? Pro poverty, yeah, poverty. Mm -hmm. But you've accepted that, and you're in this mind state where it's okay. Like, it's a norm. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to be with. But a whole community got like this. Mm -hmm. That's like wild. It's like wildfire. It just happened that quick. Like, how did we let it happen that quick? And we can't change it that quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So. And thank you for your honesty. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd now like to ask all of you um, to share with us what after school programs that you have been part of and um, how they have supported your growth and development? Um, I have been a part of um, many after school programs. I've been in After School Matters since I was 12 years old. I was a part of the um, digital news broadcasting program and the Junior Research Sciences Program, and I'm currently a part of the After School Matters uh, Youth Advisory Council. And I feel like no matter how many programs you've been in, how many experiences you have, you can learn something from each one, no matter if they're good or bad. Um, but the program that has made the most impact in my life is the After School Matters Youth Advisory Council. They have uh, made me aware of various issues going around in the community. They have taken a very active role in my development as a youth activist. And they have provided me the opportunity to network with many different people and given me that chance to perform as <laughs> that word has been passed around many times. And I appreciate that very much. What do you think? Um, a program that like really impact me is the All Stars Project. It's the thing I like about All Stars. They say something and they're gonna do it. And the All Stars has gave me so much opportunity. It's, it's an opportunity that I can't miss. That I, I saw and I took. And like it's just. Is learning like if I don't do something, there there is consequences, and I is 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 more responsible, like being more responsible. So it's a part of develop. So I'm developing, and performance is is the way, I believe, to change, change communities, to change schools. So I mean, All Stars has done a lot. For Joseph, would you say that it made you happier? Yes. It, it is. It's like taking me to another another world that I can I can perform in, I can I can grow. And it has it has took me out of that environment a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I and I know I, I have access to it. Mm -hmm. And that's it soothes me a little bit more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shayla, and a very amazing program that has impacted my whole life has been the Yours Project. Um, it's a place where I can show somebody, or well, at least everybody that comes to our concerts, what I can do, what our whole orchestra can do as one. And I'm just proud of how everybody has just come and joined together, and being able to work together and like just showing people that only a small group of, of committed people in our community can change just one person's life. That person's life can change everybody else's life and it'll come back to you. You will be the one that started everything. And I'm just happy that I know a lot of people come up to me and tell me, you've inspired me to do something because the orchestra has showed me to set a goal and you have to go for it no matter what. And after that, there's a sense of satisfaction 
that you're just proud of and you just feel very happy and that's a very good thing that the yours project has done for me great um, I actually have three actually that uh, impacted my life. First and foremost, the street level youth media. I've been involved with street level ever since I was 12, and I'm still there now. I work there now um, uh, as an intern. And at the time, my forte is music. I'm a music guru. I didn't have the money or anything to get to the access to the stuff that I needed, and street level had it at that time. So I was there, day and out, working on my music. So that has helped me to learn professional tools that people to this day still pay to learn how to do, that mm -hmm. I learned for free. Um, secondly would be the anti-eviction campaign, which is a, a nonprofit organization that helps people in foreclosure. Now this organization helped me to understand nonprofits on a business level, like with the board, the funding, grant writing, campaigning, you name it, community organizi organizing, that helped me with that. I also worked with another organization by the, U uh, by the name of the U.S. Human Rights Network, and this organization helped me to see activism as a global level. That's learning international laws and anything being with that nature. So yeah, I would say those really helped me and more confident to do things like this and other things in my life. So yeah. Thank you. I have honestly been a part of two programs. I've actually been a part of the After School Matters program and Development School Youth. I was able to do these two things simultaneously because the Development School for Youth, which is sponsored by the All-Stars, helped me learn performance and how, how important performance is. And at the same time, I was also doing After School Matters, taking a, it was a course called the Artist Development Program, which actually teaches you how to perform, like on stage, like as if you're a singer or an actor or a producer or anything. And I was able to take these two ideas of performance and combine them to, to help me become the person I wanted to be. because. Honestly, you have to perform anywhere, and without a sense of performance anywhere, there isn't a, a medium between who you are and who you want to be. So, in my opinion, those two programs together help me in the best way ever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my next question is for Shayla, Joshua, Joseph, and Lisa, in that order. Um, how has being in after-school programs helped you in school? Um, in school, I used to be a C student, like around fourth, third, fifth grade, and towards the ending of everything, and when I started orchestra, I started being a straight A student. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, <laughs> I never had confidence in myself. I now set my goals and go for them, because that's what the orchestra has taught me. I know that after everything, it's all worth it. The commitment is really, it's a big thing because in orchestra, you have to go, before it used to be an hour before school, two hours before and after orchestra. And now since the schedule changed, I mean, it's kind of different. But after that, you still need to do all your things that you need to do. And in school, now I know a lot more. I set my goals, I'm more organized, and everything is much more better for me. So uh, for me, uh, when I was in high school, uh, I was in the uh, after school matters and uh, I was in digital media. And so I love, I love to perform already, but digital media gave me that confidence that I needed to step out of my comfort zone and like do commercials and, and like all type of acting. And it was it was really it was really just like just having that having that confidence. I was like, well, if I can do this well, then I can go into a classroom and I can get A's and perform the same way and still have my my professional performance in everywhere. You know, just use it all through my life. Joseph, thank you. <laughs> don't want to don't leave out the audience because your performance is very important as well. Um, Joseph, how did the being in after school programs help you, you know, working in, in groups? Um, with after school matters, it, uh, we had to do a lot of group projects. 
and I wasn't too used to groups at the time. Um, but it's it's really it's really like I wanna I wanna do something and do it well. So I had to kind of like say, oh man, I gotta step out of this shyness. It's it's basically like th this is a job. This is a job. So mm -hmm. it's based on my performance, and I had to do what I had to do. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Um, Lisa, how has being in after school programs, how, how did it help you in school? Uh, I think I'm like the oddball person up here. Um, actually, after school really didn't help me in school. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know how many of you people in here actually been to a Chicago public school system lately, but it's very militant, very military. Like, you walk in, there's, there's uh, detectives, there's police department in there. That whole vibe is not a comfortable setting in order to learn or develop and come something in the future. Now, after school, on the other hand, helped me develop character and being the person that I am right now. It actually, I was in school looking forward to after school. So, I, <laughs> so to me, I feel those are two separate entities that have to be handled with separately. Uh, Chicago Public School System curriculum that has to be handled. We're focused on after school, which I think is more prepping students for life than the actual CPS is. That's me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this next question is for Samaya and David. Um, what, what do you feel are some of the important things that must be included in after school? It's a major part in their growth and development. If you have a science program, for example, take field trips, go different places so they can see what else is out there because it is going to be a point where they have to stop coming to your program and they're going to need to branch out and they have all these different connections that they can make after if they keep the bridges. So, yeah. Thank you. In my opinion, the most important thing <clears throat> in any after school program, you have to have a leader that cares because no matter what, I don't care how much, how much thing, how many great bells and whistles the program has. Like if it's, if it's a music program, I don't care how good the equipment it has. I don't care how good a computer would be for a tech program. No matter what, if the teacher doesn't really show any real caring for the students, then the students won't come. Like it will be like an empty space. So no matter what, at the end of the day, you have to have someone who actually cares and actually shows that they care and also ha cares enough to where the students themselves can notice it. Because you do have some teachers who say they care, but the students don't see any evidence. So you have to make sure not only the children know, they know that you care, but you have to care enough, period. Okay. So, Joseph, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. So there's a lot of people who really care, but they're not skilled. What do you think about that? There's a lot of people walk around who really care, but they couldn't necessarily run a youth program. Yes, but I mean, once you really think about it, you can learn anything. Like everyone has a mind. No matter what, you can put two, you can teach someone to put two and two together. But if the feeling isn't there, like if there is no emotional connection between the student and the teachers, nothing else matters. Let's give this young man a round of applause. <laughs> okay, well on that note, why don't we open up for, for some questions? Anybody out there have a question for some of our young people? Okay, let's get that gentleman in the back. We haven't heard from you yet. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my name is...